guys, so today I wanted to do a winter fail video and I've been seeing a ton of crock pot spaghetti squash recipes and I just feel like it'll be a big fail because if you overcook spaghetti squash it's always so watery so I just I am having a hard time believing that it'll actually turn out so I thought I'd make a winter fail video. This particular spaghetti squash recipe is spaghetti squash curry and I'm going to kind of change it and make it my own. The original recipe will be in the links down below but pretty much all the spaghetti squash recipes say the exact same thing to cook on low for five hours or cook on high for four hours. Uh, so that's pretty much what I want to test out. So for this recipe you're going to need a spaghetti squash, some red curry paste, you're going to need some coconut milk, you're going to need some garlic, and I'm also going to change the recipe and add a pepper. I'm also going to add chicken but it's still defrosting and I'll put it in a couple minutes. And I would add onion but I don't have an onion. My cutting board is clean, it's stained, they're all stained. This is the cleanest looking one I have. It's better than the counter rentals. You're going to want to take your spaghetti squash and a big knife and cut it in half. Once it's cut in half, you're going to want to scoop out all the seeds from the inside. So since mine doesn't fit in the crock pot so nicely like their shows, like there must have been a mini or like a huge crock pot because this is an average size spaghetti squash. I'm going to cut it in half this way and then just shove them in. You're going to want to add a whole can of coconut milk and the light one. If you're using a whole one, it says to add a fourth of water, but uh, adding more water to the mix, I don't, that doesn't sound like a good idea. I'm glad this is a winner fail video and not a recipe video because I just added two tablespoons of red curry paste if the camera wasn't on. You wanna add one to two tablespoons of red curry paste. I heard people recommend more because it's so watery that the flavor gets lost, so I was pretty generous with my scoops. You wanna add four to six whole cloves of garlic, so I'm gonna add four of these. Yep, got it from Walmart. And I'm just gonna turn this on while I cut up my pepper. Then I'm just gonna add my peppers. Time to check the squash. It looks overcooked to me, but I'm gonna let it cool down and then I'm gonna scoop it out. Way overcooked, but like this one is like super bad. Uh, I'm not gonna add it back to the sauce until the sauce is cold because it'll just keep cooking in there and I don't need it to be any more overcooked. Oh man, overcooked. Maybe like an hour on high? I wouldn't, I wouldn't even wanna cook it on low. But like, I've never seen a spaghetti squash scoop out so, like it's like, to the pit like it's never been like that before to me and like my thumb was slipping in there it's so overcooked I don't know it might still be okay for taste wise cuz I added extra spice but we'll see there it all is in the pot I don't know it's pretty watery I wouldn't say it's like crazy watery but we'll see what it tastes like it didn't really have a lot of flavor it wasn't terrible like I don't know if you really wanted to start cooking and then go out for two hours it wouldn't be okay but this is definitely not how I am going to continue to cook spaghetti squash. Uh, I'm really interested to try this recipe in normal spaghetti squash way uh, to see if it was more flavorful. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Show it, buddy. He's right there. Yep, yep. Oh, oh. <laughs> good job. <laughs> is it tickle time? Yeah, I got me. Did it get you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yep. Do you want to do it again, Hannah? Are you scared? Are you scared? Haley? Thanks, they're gonna scare you. Oh, God, yes. Show him. Say it again. How about you do it, Mommy? How about you do it? How about you do it?